Women who have socially complex needs during their pregnancy and in the antenatal period um, have a range of issues to contend with. Women who are recent migrants to the UK and who may have difficulty reading or speaking English may experience problems just navigating their way around the NHS and the complexities of the, of the service so they, that they may not um, take the opportunity to the, make the most of the antenatal appointments that are offered to them. Women who have issues with substance misuse may not fully engage with the service because they may feel guilty about the, the problems that they have. Young women who find themselves pregnant may be in denial of their situation and they may indeed experience real practical problems with engaging with the service. For instance, its location, um, the transport that they need to get there, the money required to get there. And in addition, these young women may have issues with all the usual things that are part and parcel of growing up. So their social circumstances and young person circumstances are such that they, they don't prioritise antenatal care at that time. Continuity of care is key to overcoming these barriers because when a woman has the opportunity to engage with the same professional over time or a small group of professionals that they become familiar with because they belong to the same team. They have the opportunity to build up a good relationship and good rapport with the staff who are looking after them. And most importantly, that gives them the opportunity to build up a sense of trust, to have a sense that they are being cared for people who have really set out to get to know them and their situation. Good communication between the professional and the family that they are hoping to support is really vital to having good outcomes for the family. Good communication is particularly important so that professionals get to know the family and therefore can be responsive to and respectful of a family situation. Home visiting for families is particularly important because it gives professionals who are charged with their care the opportunity to see them in their home environment and to assess and to respond to the social and emotional needs of both parents and their children. And we know that home visiting is particularly of benefit when they are provided by professionals rather than lay people when they start in the antenatal period, when they have a structure that responds to the needs of both the mother and the child, and when they last for more than 12 sessions. Intensive or enhanced home visiting are particularly beneficial to families that are particularly vulnerable. For instance, young mothers who in their teenage years need additional support. And one such programme is the Family Nurse Partnership, which is a programme that was developed in the States and it is delivered to first-time teenage mothers. The programme is delivered by professionals, mostly health visitors and midwives, who have been specially trained to deliver the programme. And we have very good evidence to indicate that this programme is of particular benefit to both the mother and child in the short, medium and long term. To ensure that all children have their best start in life, we need to take a life course approach. And that means beginning right at the very start of a child's life, moving forward. And this may involve a range of services including home visiting and early education. Now we know that preschool early education is of particular advantage and of benefit to children from really socially disadvantaged backgrounds. 
These children benefit from full day programmes and they don't encounter any negative consequences from the fact that they're in preschool for a day at a time. On the other hand, for families who are less disadvantaged, a half day programme is sufficient to help those children make up the loss that they experience because of their social circumstances. And so it is, again, knowing families and knowing what is required to meet their needs at that time. It's a really important aspect of the support that is offered. The positive impact that can occur as a result of preschool education very much relies on the quality of what is on offer. And so staff who have a really warm, interactive approach with children, that's really important. But also that there's a trained manager of the um, preschool and that there is a good proportion of trained teachers on the staff. It's also vitally important that staff have values that place emphasis on the social development of children as much as on the educational development of children so that this creates the opportunity for these children to flourish through their preschool education. Programme implementation fidelity is really important because these programmes have been developed in such a way and then tried and tested to ensure that they create the best opportunities for families to flourish. So in terms of the staff involved, um, what they discuss with families during sessions, where sessions take place, um, and how families are recruited and then how they are encouraged to remain in the programmes are really vital to the programme success in order to ensure that families get the most out of the opportunity that they've been given.